I have quit my job to become a full-time digital fashion designer. And this I said to me already four years ago. We talk a lot about like digital fashion, but no one is talking about how confusing it is to transition from a fashion designer to a digital fashion artist, especially when you're one of the first ones who evolving this topic. It's probably not sounding futuristic now, but back then, I had even no idea what a 3D artist is. And honestly, I was scared. I had a stable job and a career path. I was working as a fashion designer for Hugo Boss, but I felt something is missing. Like the world around me was evolving and I was standing still. Today, I want to share with you how exactly I transitioned into digital fashion. The highs, the fears and the unexpected moments that literally changed my life. And if you're standing Hello. at this path now by yourself, maybe this video will give you a glimpse what's staying ahead of you. Let me take you back. I was working as a conventional fashion designer at Hugo Boss. Classic collections, fittings, premium materials. It was everything I was trained for. But then 3D came into the picture. In our company, we got introduced into Cloth 3D. At first, it was just a tool, but for me, it felt like a portal. I started learning Clo in every three minutes. After work, at nights, on weekends, I was completely obsessed. I started posting my experiments on Instagram just to document my journey. Nothing fancy, no strategy, just pure curiosity and exploration. And then something crazy happened one day. The fabricant messaged me. They saw my posts and invited me to work for them. And at this time, they were one of the most exciting, pioneering digital fashion brands, if to say the only one. And suddenly I was faced into a huge decision. Do I stay in my safe, growing role at Hugo Boss? Or do I leap into the unknown with a startup in Amsterdam? I chose the leap. Moving to Amsterdam and working for the fabricant changed everything. I was expecting to just transition into another fashion role, but I was wrong. This wasn't just about cloth anymore. It was about systems, textures, pipelines, tools I never heard of before, Unreal, Cinema 4D, NFTs, Nuke, web configurator. I became more than a designer, I became a strategist, creative lead, producer, and I worked for big brands introducing AR filters, digital only drops, and even web tools to create customized digital pieces. But here's the truth, I had no roadmap. I had to learn on the job and I was googling everything. I messed up a lot. What's a texture map? What is VFX? And why do my exports look so crappy from Clo when I place them in another software? I cried over broken renders and failed uploads. But every challenge and failure became a lesson. And I stopped to think like a traditional designer. I started thinking like a builder, like a creative director, like a storyteller. Working in a startup was a crash course in speed, failure and innovation. There's no hiding in a small team. And you don't get to say, this is not my job, you just have to do it. From pitching ideas to brands, managing timelines, to helping develop new digital tools, I realized that creativity is not only about doing beautiful things. It's about solving problems with style. And I learned how to move fast without breaking the essence of style. And most important, I learned how to speak the language of tech and business without losing my identity as designer. When I look back now, what surprises me most and not the tools that I learned, it's the person I became. I went from following trends to setting them, from being a specialist to become a creative leader, from being afraid of tech to embracing it as my superpower. And the digital space gave me something traditional fashion could not give me, freedom. Freedom to experiment, freedom to collaborate globally, and even freedom to reinvent myself. But here's what you can take away from it. You don't need to wait for a permission, and you don't need to master everything before you begin. You just need to start. Your curiosity will lead the way, and your persistence will open doors. So if you're a young designer and wondering where you can take the next step, if you're learning Clo, playing with Unreal or other digital tools, or dreaming of seeing your designs in virtual spaces, know this, you can do it, and you're not alone. It's not about being perfect. It's about being brave and sometimes even cringe enough and stubborn like me to keep on going. If this story resonates with you, drop a comment if you have any questions or even wishing to handle another topic or you want to tell me why you actually in your story. 
leave a comment below. This is the first time kind of I'm posting this vlog and I want to give you more insights about my career path. So this is planned to be the beginning of a series. Let me know if you're interested in, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.